Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a small school. If you follow all three parts of this tutorial, not only will I show you how to make the school building, but I'll also show you how to make the inside and the outside, including both of the classrooms, the hallways with the lockers, the cafeteria, the library, the back of the school, the schoolyard, including the basketball court and the football pitch, and also a school bus to go go along with the school as well. All of the tutorials can be found down below in the description. This is the amount of space required to make your school. Do feel free to make this grid in your world if you do feel as though it will help you out. Here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the actual school building construction. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these. If you have made the grid, come all the way to the front left hand corner of it and count backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then to the right, one, two, three, four, five. This is the starting position. Begin by placing eight and in sight going right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Extend backwards also by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Extend to the right by thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then extend forwards by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Extend to the right by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then extend backwards by twenty-two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. We then want to extend that 27th block across the back of the build and connect it to the front. I like to extend some across and then come to the front and then, ex and then start extending backwards and let these two rows meet in the middle. So now that we have this shape, which is seeming a little sus to me, we want to grab our terracotta and come to the very first block that we ever placed, which is this andensite. On top of this block, place five terracotta. One, two, three, four, five. The goal here is to now extend terracotta across and down to the corner points of the andensite that we have placed below us. So we are copying the shape above, however, at the same time, we are also joining down to the particular corner blocks. This allows us to divide our school into different shapes and separate shapes that just makes it easier to mark out and fill in. On some particular parts of your school, such as the left and right side and the back, we won't have too many shapes. It'll just be like one big shape. But on the front, we will have a bunch of them. So this is the end result. Next, we are going to place all of the windows and doors for the school. Let's begin at the beginning. So start off by placing a horizontal row of terracotta at the bottom of your empty space and the top of your empty space. You will notice that there are two middle blocks for this empty area that is left. Connect them together at the top and the bottom and simply place glass block in the two remaining spaces. There we have a simple window pattern for the front of the build. This will apply to the opposite side as well. If we just come inwards, we want to once again add a horizontal row of terracotta at the top and the bottom. And then this time we are going to add a two by two square of glass on this left side, two rows of terracotta right of the glass, 2x2 two two square of glass, and then an extra row of terracotta. And once again, this will apply to that side. We now have to find the two center blocks for this 
area. The reason being is because we want a double door in the two center blocks. You'll be able to identify this because the two center rows will have five andon sight on the left and five andon sight on the right. Once you've figured that out, we want to place horizontal terracotta at the bottom and the top to help shrink our space. Add a vertical row of terracotta on the right and the left. Place a 2x2 two two square of glass on the left and right to create windows. Place terracotta in between the windows and the door, connecting the rows together vertically. And then add glass block above the doors. We can place this now, I think. We want to place a bell above the left side of the glass of the doors. So now that we have done this, we now quickly want to apply the same directly to the right side of the build. So we'll start off by having a horizontal row of terracotta at the bottom and the top. We'll place a two by two square of glass at the front with two rows of terracotta next to it, two by two square of glass, and then a little bit of terracotta to fill that gap. On the front of the build here, we want to start off once again with the horizontal terracotta above and below, glass on the left and right sides with terracotta in between. Now that we've done that, we can work on both sides of the build, the left and the right side. So what we will do here is once again, place a horizontal row of terracotta at the bottom and the top of our wall. This will take a little while as it is quite a long row. And now that we have the two horizontal rows at the bottom and the top, we simply want to come over to the left side here and place a row of nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine terracotta extending towards the center, four glass, one, two, three, four, and then we should be able to place an equal amount of terracotta on the opposite side. And we simply want to repeat that for the row above, and there we will have a central window for the side of our school. And if we come all the way over to the opposite side, we can copy this now. So once again, a horizontal row of terracotta at the bottom and the top of the build, just like this. And then we'll start from the left side this time, a row of nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and then a row of four glass, one, two, three, four. Let's double up on that glass right here and now, add the terracotta on the opposite side, and then come back over to this side to fill it in. As easy as that. So all that remains is the back of the school now, which is very, very simple as well. We want to begin by placing a double door on the back of the school, the same place that we have a double door on the front of the school. I'm going to place terracotta above the door, but just extending down from the top of the frame with then glass below. I'm going to place a bell in the equivalent place on the back as we did the front. This is just above the left side, although it doesn't really matter too much. And now I'm going to add a row of terracotta at the bottom and the top of the build. So this is on the left and right side. Now that we've divided it, it's, I guess I'm just splitting it up into sides now, but that will give us this shape. All we have to do from here is simple. Let's start on the left side. We want to place a 2x2 two two square of glass, followed by a 2x2 two two square of terracotta. And we want to repeat this until we get to the center. And you will find that the terracotta lines up nicely with the door. And as a matter of fact, we can extend through the door and we can place two terracotta, two glass connecting the top and bottom of the school together. And that will give us something that should look like this, which is 100% Perfect. Next, we are going to make a little ramp for the entrance on the back. This is made by placing a row of four and in sight below and in front the actual doors, and then a row of polished and in sight stairs in front. And if we come to the front, we can do literally the exact same thing. So we can make a row of four and in sight or polished and in sight with polished and in sight stairs in front. So we have a nice little step up to our actual doors. Once this has been done, on the front of the build, I want you to grab your terracotta, 
and I want you to take note of where the doors are below us. Place terracottas above where the doors are. Then extend those terracottas left, one, two, and right, one, two. Then extend the right terracotta block here backwards by five, one, two, three, four, five. Extend across and join forwards to make a square. We then want to take each one of the four corners and extend up by five, one, two, three, four, five. And then they want to connect together at the top. So a more reasonable way of doing this is simply just extend the corners across and down. And you'll actually end up with the exact same effect, except I find it to be a little bit more economical with the use of the time and the blocks. Now that we have a cube kind of just floating here, I'd recommend filling the base of this in with something that isn't terracotta, so maybe we'll use the dark prismarine slab for this, just like so. So, now that we have done this, we have essentially made a cage for a bell. So, there's no easy way of doing this without uh, having to destroy some blocks afterwards, so I want you to place a 2x2 two two square of gold block right in the centre of our dark prismarine, and then extend that row upwards by one. Destroy the original row, and then extend this 2x2 two two square of gold up. Extend it up until it is as high as the terracotta that surrounds it. Then, extend the bottom blocks outwards in every single direction. Front, back, left, right. That will give us this. So this actually looks, or quite looks, like a bell, which is perfect, which one might see on more old-fashioned schools, and I think that it just makes a nice decoration to ours. And now that we have done that, ladies and gentlemen, the last thing that we have to do is add a roof to our school, and that also includes the bell tower as well. So all we have to do to make the school roof is, first of all, place a row of dark prismarine stairs all the way around the top of our school. So that is the top row of terracotta, simply follow the shape all the way around. Once you have placed that first row of stairs, we want to place an extra row of dark prismarine stairs on top of that row of terracotta. So once again, following the shape all the way around, just be careful to place it on the opposite sides of the bell tower. We don't have to destroy any of the terracotta, it simply just goes opposite sides. And then, once you have placed your second row of dark prismarine stairs, all we have to do is place a row of dark prismarine slabs above the empty space that is left. So literally, just that row directly above, we use dark prismarine slabs to fill that in. And that is all you have to do to make the main bulk of the school roof. Now, all that is left after that is to make the roof for the bell tower, which is very, very simple as well. We simply want to place rows and rows of dark prismarine stairs starting from on the side of the row of terracotta at the top of the bell tower. And we want to place, in total, three rows of dark prismarine stairs coming all the way up to the top. And eventually, you will be left with a 2x2 two two square of empty space, which we will simply cover up with a layer of dark prismarine slabs, just as we did with the rest of the roof. And once that has been done, we have finished this particular part of the tutorial, as the structure of the school has been completed. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I do want to remind you that this is part one of a free part tutorial, so you will have to follow the other two videos along to make the full entire school. You'll be able to find those easily in the description below, so please do check that out if you do want to make the rest of this tutorial. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, click that little bell next to the subscription button, that will ensure that you get all of my videos sent directly to your sub box. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.
Goodbye.